Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Lori Tucker. Breaking news here at midday in battle, Tennessee House Speaker Glenn Cassida announcing his plans to resign. Cassida issuing a statement saying, quote, when I return to town on June 3rd, I will meet with caucus leadership to determine the best date for me to resign as speaker so that I can help facilitate a smooth transition. Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally quickly reacting to the news, sending out this statement. It reads, Speaker Cassida announcing his intent to resign is the right re decision for the legislature, the Republican Party, and the state. He goes on to say, I commend him for it. Now we move forward. I'm committed to working with leadership in the House to help restore the trust that has been lost in any way I can. Also, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee reacting as well with this tweet. He says, Speaker Cassida has made the right decision, and I look forward to working with the legislature to get back to conducting the people's business and focusing on the issues that matter most to our state. Now, we are also hearing this afternoon from State Representative Susan Lynn, who offered reassurances about what's going on in Nashville. This is truly the Republican Party having a family discussion, and the House will be okay. We will elect a new leader, uh, a new speaker, and uh, we will move forward. We just came off with the best session that really that we've ever had. Um, the House is firing on all cylinders, and we will keep doing an excellent job for the people of the state of Tennessee. This all stemming from recent controversies surrounding Cassida and his former chief of staff, Cade Cothran, including text messages viewed as sexist and racist. The Tennessee House Republican Caucus voted 45 to 24 last night for a no confidence resolution. Representative Lynn, who you just heard from, saying she's heard from at least three lawmakers interested in running for speaker. One of them, she said, was Crossville Representative Cameron Sexton. WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens is right now getting reaction from lawmakers around the state on this breaking news and looking at what is coming up next. We'll have those details starting today at 4.